Okay, we're now in Module 7 about inequalities, and we're going to be investigating inequalities. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that shows the relationship between quantities that are not equivalent. Inequalities use greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to symbols. These symbols are used for comparing quantities. So far, we've learned that when we perform any of the four basic operations, add, subtract, multiply, divide, on both sides of an equation, the resulting equation is still true. The equation stays balanced on each side of the equal sign. If we have 2y plus 4 is equal to 16, if we take 4 away from this side and take 4 away from this side, we're keeping it balanced. We're doing the same thing to each side. On this side, we'll have 2y, and on this side, we'll have a 12. The symbol for is less than or equal to and is greater than or equal to. These symbols are used to compare a range of possible numbers or answers. We're going to learn more about that coming up in Lesson 7.3. When we perform addition or subtraction on both sides of an inequality, the resulting inequality is still true. We can add 7 to both sides of this inequality. We have negative 6 plus 7, well that's going to give us a positive 1. And negative 3 plus 7, that's going to give us a positive 4. And negative 1 is less than 4. By adding 7 to both sides, the inequality stays balanced and remains true. We have a negative 6, and it's less than negative 3. And we have a 1, and that's less than 4. The order and distance apart are the same. Here we have an inequality that 8 is greater than or equal to 5. It is greater than. We can subtract 4 from both sides. We take away 4 from 8, we get a 4. We take away 4 away from 5, we get a 1. And we have 4 is greater than or equal to 1. And that's true. It is greater than 1. So by subtracting 4 from both sides of the inequality, the inequality stays true because subtracting a number is the same as adding the opposite. We've got 8, and it is greater than 5. And we have 4, and that is greater than 1. The order and distance apart are the same. We can multiply both sides of an inequality by a positive number, and it will remain true. So pay attention that I said positive number. We have 2 is less than 5. If we multiply both sides by a positive 3, we're going to get 6 is less than 15. That's true. When we divide both sides of an inequality by a positive number, the inequality remains true. So if we have a positive 8 and it's less than a positive 12, if we divide it by a positive 2 on each side, we're going to get 4 is less than 6. That's true. And if we have a negative 6, which is greater than negative 10, because it's closer to 0, right? If we divide both sides of this inequality by a positive 2, even though they're negatives, we're dividing by a positive 2, we get negative 3 is greater than negative 5, and that's true. Negative 3 is closer to 0, so it's greater. But watch out. When we divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the inequality will no longer be true. This also happens when multiplying by a negative. If we have a positive 10 is less than a positive 12, which is true, and we divide both sides by a negative 2, we get negative 5 is less than negative 6, and that's false. Negative 5 is closer to 0, so it's greater. As we move left on a number line, the values become less. So negative 6 is less than negative 5, so this is false. And watch out, when we multiply both sides by a negative, it will no longer be true. If we have 10 is less than 12, which is true, and we multiply both sides by negative half, we get negative 5 is less than negative 6, and that's false. Negative 5 is closer to 0, so it's greater. 
we have negative one half and negative one half that we're multiplying on each side. It's the same as dividing by negative two on each side because multiplying by a number is the same as dividing by its reciprocal. And negative one half and negative two over one are reciprocals. That's why these are the same thing. When we divide or multiply by a negative, it will no longer be true. But there is a way we can make it true. We found that when we divided this positive 10 by a negative 2, we got a negative 5. And when we divided this positive 12 by a negative 2, we got a negative 6. And it made the inequality false. It's not true. We can make this inequality true by reversing the direction of the symbol to a greater than symbol. If we reverse the direction of this symbol, we will make it true. And if we have 2 is less than 8, which is true, and we multiply both sides by a negative 5, we get negative 10 is less than negative 40. And that's false. Negative 10 is closer to 0, so it's greater. And we can make this inequality true by reversing the symbol to greater than. If we just flip the symbol around and make it greater than, then the inequality will be true. Let's take a look at these statements. The inequality will remain true if we add to both sides. Yes, that is true. The inequality will remain true if we subtract from both sides. Yes, that's true. The inequality will remain true if we divide both sides by a positive. Yes, that's true. And the inequality will remain true if we multiply both sides by a positive. Yes, that's true. The inequality will remain true if we divide both sides by a negative? No, that's false. And it's also false if we multiply both sides by a negative. We would need to switch the direction of the signs for these, wouldn't we? If we switch the direction for the signs when we divide or multiply by a negative, then we will make them true. We finished 7.1a. We're going to move on to 7.1b. We're going to actually be solving inequalities involving addition and subtraction. So remember to be careful when you are multiplying or dividing both sides of an inequality by a negative number. We have to remember to flip that sign around to the other direction. Otherwise, the inequality will not be true. Have a great day. Hope you're doing well. And please join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.